Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock, this is Captain's Vlog. Today, I wanna show you guys the process of having a contractor work a loft. Uh, so we're gonna talk through the permits to work. We're gonna speak with Barbara a little bit later. But uh, first this morning, it is 7 a.m. and our neighbor on our port side is leaving. So I'm gonna film for you the procedure that they go through when leaving, when leaving the dock. So let's go and take a look. Hey Barbara, what's he saying about the ground line? Is it monitor it or what? Morning, Barbara. Good morning. <laughs> My little eyes. It's the morning. <laughs> Tell us why we're here. So this bird yesterday they told us that they're going to leave this morning. So we're just here to, uh, to be sure that everything's going to be okay when they handle the boat, and that of course they're not going to touch with brand new paint. Should be alright, but it's always good to be here and checking. Here they go. Mm -hmm. Now releasing the ground line. What he's doing now is using the bow thrower to swing the bow to starboard and then using his main engines to go uh, ahead. This vessel also has a stern thruster. Beautiful morning. Where are they going? Nice. Yeah. Just for the show, then coming back. So they're going there for one day. Uh, they they okay. so this vessel is going to Nice for the charter boat show a one day event I believe or maybe two days and then they'll be back in Via Reggio. There we have the Benetti yard, the builder of the fabulous Benettis. Yeah. Is going down that narrow channel. Hello. 
Um, today we've got uh, one of the contractors working a loft. Yeah. So talk us, well, talk the viewers through the process of working a loft and how it links in with the vessels ISM, the International Safety Management System. Yeah, so what we want is anybody working a loft to be safe on board. That could be a crew member, for example, when we do the wash down, or that could be like today a contractor uh, fixing the navigational lights. So we need to be sure that uh, they wouldn't fall and they wouldn't hurt themselves. So a few things is to be checked every time. Uh, they need to wear proper shoes, they need to have a harness that we load test uh, every year to be sure that it could handle the weight if it's falling. So that would be much more than its uh, normal weight, but we, we test uh, the harness for this. Uh, I need to make sure about the leash and he's also wearing a um, helmet. If he needs uh, to carry a few things, he will have a special bag that he will have tied to his harness so that he doesn't have to have his hands full of things. That's also for safety. And also I need to be there to check. Uh, and I, we sign together what we call a permit to work, uh, working a loft with the time, the date. This permit is valid for maximum 24 hours uh, with uh, the place, why is he going there? And that we checked all the safety uh, procedures to be sure that he's gonna be safe while he is working a loft. So we signed that together, we all agree, we all check the equipments before and if we're both happy then you can start the work and I'm watching him. Perfect and then what equipment gets shut down while somebody's working a loft? So as he's on the mast right now, he's a loft on the mast so we need to make sure that nobody's going to turn on any equipment that are um, uh, close to where he's working now for example the radars, uh, the breakers have been turned down and uh, the horn also, nobody can sound the horn right now and we laminate sheets and we put them where the equipment is so that if somebody comes on the bridge and doesn't know why it's off it's obvious that it's off because it has to stay off well, because the permit to work is still valid at that time so you put, you put up warning notices on the bridge we have informing people, people yeah uh, on the bridge informing people that uh, somebody is working aloft on the mast for example now uh, we call on the radio also so that everybody is aware uh, there's a crew member, for example, or there's a contractor working aloft on the mast, please be careful. Uh, and we set the equipment that needs to be to stay off. And then you as a safety officer or myself has to be always present until they're off and their permit to work is, is completed. Right? Yeah, so me as a safety officer or the captain, uh, we need to watch and be there to watch that uh, it is safe uh, until he finishes the job aloft. Perfect. Okay, Barbara, anything else you'd like to add? It's good to have some sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a lot of viewers that want to see more of Barbara. Oh, so, well, um, you need the summer to come. <laughs> yeah. the, the winter uniform is going to be lighter soon when it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, Barbara, thank you very much for your time and thank to you. explain the permits to work. So guys, what they're doing on the radar mast, they're installing brand new uh, navigational lights. So on the radar mast, we have the mast headlights and the anchor lights. They have to be sellers approved um, as we are less than 50 meters. The mast headlights need to have a nominal range of no less than five miles. The side and the stern lights need to have a range of uh, two miles. And uh, so Luca from Navel, the, the boss of the electrical company that's been installing all our lights, is up there now to carrying out the work. Uh, as Barbara previously commented, uh, anybody working aloft needs to be issued a permit to work. Uh, they need to understand the safety procedures and then we inform all the crew and people working in, in the areas. Um, so safety always first on board. This is part of our international safety management system as previously mentioned. Um, but just give you guys an, up, an, up, an idea of um, the safety uh, precautions that we have to take on board as a commercial yacht. So basically a vessel engaged in um, charters. And uh, the, the reality is this, this whole system ISM is to ensure the safety of the vessel, to ensure the safety of the people on board and the safety of the environment. Also, as master on board, um, anything goes wrong, uh, uh, ultimately the master is responsible. So my job really at the end of the day is just constantly covering my backside to make sure everybody's doing it in accordance to the correct procedures and our ISM. Uh, so it's really important, it's good uh, because it encourages a safety culture on board the vessel and it gets drilled not only into the crew member's mind but also into the contractor's mind. When they come on board the boat they know how, how strict we are on our safety procedures. Um, so that's the update here for now.